A group of vets from New Palestine got a behind the scenes tour of IMS. WRTV's Jessica Grunling went along for it. As the rain fell, fans pulled out their umbrellas and left the stands. Water puddled up on the track and the first day of practice runs for the Indy 500 were cut short. We're soaking wet. We're, we really are. But for one group, the weather wasn't going to put a damper on the day. Rain days are actually sometimes kind of nice. It's been fun. Colleen Dye is at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the first time. She's a Navy veteran, here with fellow veterans getting a tour. They'll pull their cars out. They'll pull them up through gasoline alley. Colleen was a nurse for more than 10 years stationed in San Diego. Or during the time that the uh, Vietnam War was still going on, or the fellows were coming home. Looking back at her military time, she's also getting to look back at the memories of the Indy 500. Looking around, I could see now and how exciting it was, and, and it really is exciting here. Because although she's never been here, she's no stranger to the race. Growing up in New York, watching it with her family. Always on the TV. When, when it was run, you know, you were quiet. You were because your family, your dad, your mom were ready, ready and watching it. Now at 75 years old, she's not only seeing it in person, but talking to pit crews, touring garages, and meeting racers. It's part of Kingdom Racing's Miles of Smiles, a nonprofit motorsports group that provides these unique experiences. A lot of them are uh, individuals who've been through some tough spots in life. And with this group here, we know they've seen those different tough spots in life, but this is as much to honor some of our veterans. It's nice. I'm glad I got here. Reporting from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Jessica Grunling, WRTV. Well, Miles of Smiles was started more than 10 years ago at IMS. Now they do tours like this at tracks around the country.